Monday afternoon to you. Our May 10th forecast today, well, it's feeling a little bit more like March, especially this morning. We had temperatures in the 30s out there, frost and dense fog. That fog has lifted out of the viewing area, but let's give you a look at today's big weather headlines. And the first one is a better looking afternoon. We're going to have a good mix of sun and clouds and temperatures are going to feel much better than where they were sitting yesterday at this time. A mostly dry stretch ahead with a small chance for rain on Tuesday and then temperatures pick back up this weekend. We'll be closer to our seasonal average. Yesterday we were far away from our seasonal average. This time of year we should be sitting in the upper 60s and Sunday we hit a high of 43 degrees, but those temperatures fell throughout the day and we were mostly sitting in the 30s for your Mother's Day forecast. So it was just a soggy day in some places even saw some snow. So here is a look into Mercer. This was sent in from Howard and yes, we did have snow yesterday, especially for our northern viewing areas. The good news is no snow in the forecast today or rain will finally dry out, but some of these rain totals over the past 24 hours were pretty high and where you're seeing that deeper red contour. That's where we saw the highest totals over two and a half inches of rain in parts of Lawrence County, a half an inch of rain for northern Mercer. The lowest was in northern Trumbull as well, but as you move further into Mahoning County, quite a bit of rain yesterday. It was just a soggy and dreary Mother's Day forecast. The good news is it's shaping up to look much nicer today and temperatures are going to get a little bit warmer. We're looking at a high of 54 degrees for the second half of the day today. Then overnight temperatures and dipping back into the 30s. When it comes to the wind speeds today, I'm not expecting a gusty forecast, although it can turn a little bit breezy. Late this afternoon and early on into the evening, wind gusts could pick up to about 27 miles per hour coming out of the west, and that will quiet down in the afternoon and evening hours. Sunrise was at 6.09 a.m., and again, we did have some fog this morning that did lift out of the area, and overnight dropping down to a low of 36 degrees. And that's where we're going to see that small chance for a shower. So let's talk about the next 48 hours for you. This afternoon, temperatures in the 50s. We'll see that cloud coverage filter back in after sunset this evening and a small chance for a stray shower overnight and into the early hours of our Tuesday morning. Then the second half of Tuesday, not looking too bad. Good mix of sun and clouds once again, but temperatures will remain cool in the 50s. We'll be back in the 60s by midweek and moving towards the weekend. Temperatures in the 70s. Overall, not a bad looking seven day forecast, just a small chance for showers on Tuesday, smooth sailing the rest of the week. Then we'll get closer to our seasonal average and it'll feel like May over the weekend. It's nice to see some 60 degree temps ahead. Thank you, Emily.